What's up Sports Talk Detroit? In this video, I'm going to be giving my reactions and overreactions from the season so far for the Detroit Pistons. Hey Sports Talk Detroit Nation, if you don't know me, my name's Craig. I do these videos on this channel with my buddy Chris. We're Detroit homers, we like to keep it real. And today I'm gonna to be giving you reactions, overreactions for the Detroit Pistons very early on in the season. And we are going to start with just five quick reactions. I'm gonna kind of rapid fire these and I want you to leave your comments below the subscribe button and let me know what some of your reactions or overreactions are, but if it's an overreaction, you better tell me it is. Otherwise, we're gonna make you look like a fool in the comment thread. So here are my just normal reactions. First one is that Hamadou Diallo has played himself out of the rotation. He was outplayed by the Jackson boys, both Josh and Frank. His jump shot did, has not looked good. He's still rebounding well. He's still getting to the hole. He hasn't played tremendously bad, but the Jacksons have just played really well, so I don't think Hamadou Diallo, unless Kate is still hurt, is going to be in the rotation because Dwayne Casey's been very clear. He wants to keep it to 10 guys. We have a lot of wing depth. I don't know about that. Second one, you may have seen my Josh Jackson player preview. I was not high on him. My second reaction is that has changed. Josh Jackson is a different player thus far this year. He's calmer. He's allowing the game to come to him. It's almost like the game has slowed down. He's not forcing passes. He has a four, uh, four to one almost. I think it's three to one assist to turnover ratio. That's really good. He was a one to one assist to turnover ratio player um, last year. His three point shooting's up. He's not forcing as many shots. Rather than being the guy who anytime he touches the ball feel like he needs to score, he's playing in the flow of the offense. My third reaction, Jeremy Grant is for real. He's not, he's not gone. He's going to continue with what he did last year, and he's going to build on that and get better this year. It's really that simple and enough said. I think he's doing a better job flowing with the offense, and it can tell you these two players, both Josh and Jeremy, show you that in a second year in a Dwayne Casey system, that's when they really start to catch on. They look so much more comfortable. They know where their spots are on the floor. They know where they want to go, what they want to do. And it's it's not reaction as much as it is um, anticipation, which is a really, really good sign. And then my fourth reaction is that rebounds are going to be hard to come by. Uh, we're going to have Isaiah Seward taking a ton of the load for rebounding. He said he takes it personal. I hope he takes it personal because he's on my fantasy basketball team. I want a lot of rebounds out of that guy. But rebounds as a team are going to be hard to come by. And quite frankly, interior defense outside of beef stew is going to be tricky. All right, now let's get to what you've all been waiting for. It's the overreactions. What are my three big overreactions from early on in the season so far? First one, Kate is hurt and it's going to take a long time for him to get better. Don't care what people are saying. I did a whole other video on this. My overreaction is that Cade is going to be 75% of Cade, 80% of Cade, or he's not going to play for the first two, three weeks of the season. By the time you watch that, that might already be proven wrong. We'll find out. My hope is that he's healthy. They truly are just being cautious and he's not really hurt. But my overreaction, dude's hurt bad. All right, number two, Killian's a bust. Slash always injured. He still can't shoot. We've been seeing, we've seen a couple of games and then he... He twisted his ankle and then he got a concussion and I don't know what to think. I know it's unfair, but I said it's an overreaction. Dude's a bust. Number three, Hamadou Diallo just flat can't shoot. Last year, flash in the pan. And what we're seeing now is him going back to what he was before that, which is a 28% three-point shooter. And that means that he will never have a rotational spot on this team. Those are my three overreactions. So what do you think? Am I on track here? Could one of these overreactions actually become a reality? If so, which one do you think it would be? Leave your comment below the subscribe button. And hey, go Pistons.